At about 4.50 p.m. on Saturday, a Honduran national was fatally trapped by his co-worker at their work site in the Tropical Park community at mile 14 on the George Price Highway. Just before 5 o'clock that evening, police responded to a report of a fight, but when they arrived, found the body of 40-year-old Giovanni Rosales behind an incomplete fence. He had chopped wounds to his arm, shoulder, and his head was almost decapitated. Hattieville police responded to a report of a fight at mile 14 on the George Price Highway. Upon arrival at the location, they found one Giovanni Armando Rosales, 44 years, a Honduran national who resides at number 14 and a half miles on the George Price Highway with a large chop wound to the back of his neck, one on his shoulder and one on his right arm. Bert Ambulance responded where they pronounced Mr. Rosales deceased. So far, our investigation has revealed that Mr. Rosales was socializing with fellow co-worker when a conflict transpired, which resulted in his death. A Guatemalan national who is also a construction worker has since been detained. That detainee has given a caution statement in which he is claiming self-defense. According to the accused, Rosales charged at him with a knife and he picked up a machete and chopped him three times, fatally injuring him. We have recovered a machete with which apparently uh, have on substance we believe to be blood and we believe that that was the uh, weapon that was used in this incident. Okay, now it was a, a drunken exchange? They were socializing, drinking alcohol, yes. Okay, did the men have any um, work documents? Were they legal? I am not aware if both of them were legal at this time. Okay, now, um, in terms of the, the actual, while well, we know that drunken disputes happen over anything or nothing, um, has there been, has, has anyone said if there was any history of rivalry between these two persons? Well, from our investigations, apparently not. They, they both knew each other uh, and they were drinking together. Can you say how long they were in the country? No, I, I, I'm not aware. Um, so, can you share a bit about the self-defense statement? Um, was he approached? Was there a, a, an assault on his life? How did it arrive at self-defense? He, he claimed that uh, Mr. Rosales came, with, came at him with a knife. Has a knife been recovered from him? No. But it is believed that there is a second suspect in the chopping death of Rosales. Based on the evidence that we have gathered so far and present to the Director of Public Prosecution, we will be awaiting her uh, guidance as to if and, what, if and what charges are to be laid on, uh, mis on, on the individual. So there's a second person that was involved? Uh, well, there were three persons? There is allegation that a third person was there. Um, the investigators... Also a co-worker? Right. The investigators at this time have not confirmed that to be so, but we're investigating that matter. Twain Moody for News 5.